popping on as I'm driving back from South Carolina back into um, to Florida after the big fat hurricane Milton came through. And um, so that's the second hurricane that we've had in um, two weeks, is it? Something like that? I don't know. It's uh, times that kind of feel like really weird. Um, but let's just say two weeks. So, um, and they were big. So, um, as you know, I'm in the, in the Tampa Bay area, Newport Ritchie. So, um, usually that area doesn't really get hit, um, so bad, but, um, Newport Ritchie in particular, but, um, these two times it did. So I was, I stayed for Helene and, um, I did okay, although around me did not. So I'm super blessed and grateful for that, um, for, you know, for the experience that I had, which was safety, um, and not destruction necessarily. Um, Milton, I believe much different. I, I don't know. Um, I'm just seeing pictures and just getting feedback from neighbors and, um, and friends online. So I will see, um, I believe my place is fine where I live. I think that's okay. But I know around me there was a lot of flooding. I know, um, a lot of damage. Um, I'm seeing a lot of posts of things um, like businesses closing. Um, so it's um, energetically, it's not, it's not going to be pleasant. I'm sure. Um, that's kind of what I gauge things on. And I, um, I lived in the Keys in the aftermath of Irma, and I swore I never wanted to go through that ever again. So. Um, things are probably going to be changing for me because um, the energy after a big hurricane like this um, or like these I should say um, it's really tricky and I guess that's why I just wanted to pop on and just remind people um, to be patient with each other a lot of things come up it's a lot of trauma at one time it's a lot of um, destruction it's a lot of depression there's a lot of things that come afterwards I feel like the initial like anticipation of a hurricane coming really gets people in a, in a state of like being like super anxious and alert um, and then you know if they're not really affected you're like really grateful like myself it's like I feel really grateful and blessed but then there's that aftermath of like oh my gosh you're seeing all this around around you and your community and how it affects people which ultimately affects you as well and then the people that actually do um, have such loss to deal with and um, like lost homes lost businesses um, even lost lives it just changes you and um, I saw that in the Keys for a very long time afterwards um, it was not only was I doing art at the time but I also uh, was cleaning houses because um, as you know Keys life's really expensive, so I don't like the struggle. So I would, I would help people and clean homes, and I, I saw a lot of that, a lot of a lot of depression afterwards. I know that not a lot of that was not spoke about on like on the in the media, of course, because they don't give us the truth. But I like to talk about the truth and the things that actually happen, and I guess what to just be mindful of, even in your own experience, if you're having ups and downs um, in your mood, and. Um, because it really stirs up a lot of uncertainty. It stir, it just stirs up a lot um, in the psyche and in your consciousness. And um, I am kind of over hurricanes, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Something's going to happen for me. I'm grateful. I actually had um, a house under contract in North Florida um, over the summer that fell through, and um, I, I took it with ease and grace, and I was very happy. Um, knowing that I'm always protected so I figured there was something um, the, the seller was a little manipulative so at the time I was like okay I wasn't meant to have that now I'm really grateful I don't have that so um, I just feel like the universe always has our back and we may not always realize it at the time or you know the how or the why or you know why is this happening to me but it's always a why is this happening for me so um, I'm super grateful because literally um I rent and I got in my car and I rolled out of Florida a little earlier than I was supposed to. I was supposed to go anyway um, for, for a trip for an event, but I decided I would make another pit stop somewhere else that I've never been. And I ended up in Charleston and I really liked it. And I got to explore the, you know, the area within, you know, an hour and a half. And I got to 
have a really great time just um, doing that and finding little places that I've never even heard of and seen before. So that was beautiful and amazing and it was a little hurricane and I'm just super grateful that I could do it. I was grateful that I uh, have my dog with me and I had the means to, um, to make it happen and um, not out of Dodge. So um, I'm a runner y'all so I don't like to sit around in that shit and I won't. So um, I like to feel good and I didn't I wasn't going to feel good anticipating a uh, category whatever it was going to be they were saying it could have been a five a four who knows so i decided to go feel good and meditate on it and send good vibes and um yeah so if anyone wants to reach out if you're struggling um i'm happy to listen or talk i mean you know after a hurricane is it's hard and it's not going to be easy and it's not going to come back right away and it really requires patience and um mindfulness and um, helping each other however however that that looks like even if it's just um, you know a shoulder to cry on listening to somebody showing up for somebody whatever it takes but um, I know it's it's easy to get really frustrated and I've seen um, angry posts of people um, you know we're tired it's exhausting and then there's that long road ahead of rebuilding and um, restructuring and um, it's just a lot. So anyway, I, that's all I had for today. I just wanted to kind of put that out there. And on top of it, um, I will be in Key West this week. Um, I'm going to Gypsy down there. So <laughs> I, I don't like to sit and shit, y'all. I don't like it. So I'm supposed to go there anyway. So that's like, that's my spiritual home. So, but I will be there for Fantasy Fest and I'm going to be painting bodies and faces. I have some appointments left for body paint. I have some left for Sunday for Zombie Bike Ride. So me and my sidekick Mambo will be in the Keys on the island and I cannot wait. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day and um, reach out if you would like to and I hope to hear from you. Okay, have a good one.